there's nothing we love more in French rugby than a bit of transfer gossip, is there? Plenty. I don't know where you were going. I thought it could have been a scrap. I don't know where you were going, a glass of red wine. Um, <laughs> mate, there is transfer rumours everywhere. There are so many this week. The most immediate one, despite all the controversy surrounding him at the moment, is Elton Yanchi's heading to Toulon imminently? Uh, look, I don't know that there's a revolving door and a domino effect going to start fairly soon with standoffs. There's maybe four or five sides, Cast, Stad, Toulon, Breve, a couple of others all looking. Um, Elton's already been over. He played at Poet. It didn't really go that well and he didn't look overly committed, but a new club might be the right fit and a change might be what he needs to sort of reignite his career. So, look, clearly a talented player. Um, but I think he just needs to find the, the right fit and the right club over here in France. He's been... Muted has been in contact with a few. I'm not sure if it is Toulon, but there's loads of different clubs looking for 10s. We'll go through them all. Um, and certainly he's one of the more talented boys around. So you'll be snapped up, I would think, um, in the next few weeks. Does all the off-field stuff that is surrounding him at the moment, does that not matter to French clubs? Not as much, I wouldn't say. I think they would more look for pedigree, um, efficiency, what you offer on the field. I think the off-field stuff is more left behind compared to other cultures and other environments. Um, I know I think they know if he can do a job and he can be exceptional for them um, and fire for them they, they would take him absolutely and perhaps filling that two number 10 jersey next season he's announced he's leaving Northampton could Dan Bigger be going there? Mate <laughs> any one of the clubs but it's weird like I mentioned that domino effect but you've got loads of 10s that have come to the end of their careers as well in France all at the same time so recently retired one of my good mates Francois Trandu Cami Lopez who's killing it at Bayonne um, how many more years does he have? Nico Sanchez. So there's lots of places up for grabs um, and big clubs with big budgets. So look, Dan is one of those guys with his drive, his intensity, the way he manages the game for Northampton, Wales, for the Lions. I mean, he would be absolutely phenomenal for a brief, for, a two, for any of them. He, he would be superb. Um, his game has been a lofty standard for a very long time. Um, and he certainly would add value. He's another one, but there's a whole list. We'll go through them all. Um, but yeah, he's been outstanding and, and he would be a great addition to the top 14. You mentioned Brief there. We chatted a bit about them last week and the new investment there. They're yeah. after clearly marquee signings. Do you think Bigger could be the one? Well, I think as well as key positions. Um, so they did say they were looking for like a Johnny Wilkinson marquee type. And again, if you're looking at a 10, he would be the type of person that would real add, he would add some bite, some drive, some determination to the way they play and they might just kick them on another level. Like Jeremy Davidson has done an amazing job for such a long time with limited budget. But if you added a bit of a sprinkle of stardust, a few, a few key positions, like a big second row standoff, a center, like they've always had, they've always punched way above their weight, but now with this investment, this might be the time that they shift up a gear and instead of avoiding relegation, they click up a gear name for the top six again. And like they've been European champions before. Could this be the little thing that, makes them click absolutely a little bit more investment a few key players and dan would certainly fit into that category come on then throw some more names out there what else have you heard <sighs> nepo la 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 all blacks tight head again there's a, a big charlie faumina size hole to be left filled at toulouse and la 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 would be incredible like standing with ab's his set piece is ridiculous he's got a big engine as well for a big man and he's destructive just like charlie so we don't know definitely if Charlie Falmina is moving on, but there's one that would be outstanding. Um, Tolafua moving from Toulouse to Toulon. Again, every time he plays, he's ridiculous for Toulouse, but there's so much competition in that position. Um, you've also got at Toulon, you've got Sergio Parise moving on end of the year, probably moving into coaching staff. Um, and Tolafua would be the perfect fit. I mean, great ball carrier, always beats a man, dominant tackler, he's Gif. You get a decent pay bump going down there as well. So like it all fits, um, but there's loads, mate. And again, it's so early in the season. I get, I have the impression every single year that the transfer gossip heats up and goes quicker every single year. I have no idea why. Marcos Kremer potentially to Clermont. There might be a bit of an exodus at Stade Francais with everything that's going on there. Tristan Tedder, my old mate, I played with at Bayonne, who's been, he's been superb again for Perpignan and the team that hasn't fired. Um, and keeping them up last year, and he started really well this year. You've got Cast, Stade Francais, Toulon, all looking at him as well. He's Gif, he's young, uh, soon to be a podcast guest as well. He wants to come on and give us his chat at some point too. So We'll find look, out. Look, we will. We'll, we'll get it first. We'll find out where he's going. Um, but look, a great head on his shoulders as well. So 
he'd be a great signing as a 10 as well. So look, there's a little bit of a roller coaster. That domino effect will start as soon as the first one gets signed up, everything will fall into place. But um, yeah, it's hectic times and good times if you're an agent right now. I'd imagine there's some decent commissions <laughs> being thrown around. <laughs> 